morning. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So we are here in High Memorial State Park, about 20 minutes from uh, downtown Santa Fe, New Mexico. And uh, I'm getting some work done. So it's actually a uh, pretty cool, brisk morning up here. It's actually one of the reasons we've been coming up here pretty frequently. I think this is our fourth or fifth time up here. It's 100 degrees you know 95 at the lowest down in Albuquerque area but here man it stays perfect like 70 to 75 degrees mid 50s at night it's Friday here I'm trying to get some editing done this morning and I felt like hanging out in this really cool uh, lean-to they have tons of them here at almost every site so it's a nice way to get out of the rain things like that get out of the Sun but I'm just hanging out in here this morning, trying to get some work done, and you might notice something. This right here. We'll get into that shortly. So this isn't our most favorite site we've had here. Uh, we kind of have a nice view of the road, <laughs> but uh, it's not too shabby. Big area, pretty good spot. If you were coming in, uh, you know, had a little rig like us and you maybe wanted to set up some tents for kids or friends. And they had this lower area that has tons of space for tents or activities or, I don't know, setting up some volleyball or something. Definitely a pretty cool spot. And each site has a fire ring too with a uh, built-in grill on it. So as most of you know, we have a pretty robust lithium battery system in our 2023 Winnebago Echo. We have 640 amp hours, and that goes a long way. Uh, we have a bunch of solar on the roof. Uh, we do charge while driving from a second alternator, but also as many of you know, We've had a long-standing issue with our Balmar regulator, which is what regulates the charge coming in from that second alternator, and it has not worked properly since we purchased our Echo. We did do a DC to DC charger, and that's made a tremendous difference, but if we sit for too long and don't go for a you know, couple hour drive, we do drain our battery down with Starlink hooked up, watching a movie or two, or you know, a TV show at night, uh, running the microwave, all that stuff. So when it comes to our power system, like I said, sitting for a few days, we can eat through that, and we wanna save that power for our lights, our fans, you know, our microwave, Starlink, the things we need off the big system. But when I'm getting work done, editing, or we need to charge our phones if we're just sitting out enjoying nature and you know need to stay in touch because we have our Travato rented out or whatnot. We needed a solution. So when Blue Eddy reached out to us and wanted to work with us and send us out one of their smaller uh, power stations, I say small, kind of a beast in this small package, uh, we said yes. I'm very familiar with Blue Eddy, actually been looking into them for years for when we finally purchased a property to build a little off-grid vacation spot i looked into their systems to run that so they sent us the eb55 this is a 537 watt hour portable power station this little beast has a 700 watt pure sine wave inverter in it with a 1400 watt surge so that's pretty impressive for something that's literally like this tiny as you can see so this little guy can take 200 watts of solar input and you can actually charge it from an AC source and that's also 200 watts in and you can combine those to get 400 watts of solar and AC input at the same time to get this thing charged up really quick so on this little guy this little beast you have 13 outputs you have some USB-C and then some of your standard USB ports, 
you have of course your 100 to 120 volt AC outputs right here. This is your regular plug-ins like house plugs. And then you have some more DC outputs here on the top being your 12 volt, which is really nice because it actually has the lock point. So your device does not slip out of there, which I'm sure some of you have experienced that with 12 volt plugs. They kind of fall out of the uh, reciprocal there. But on this, put it in, twist, locks in. And then really convenient up on the top of the unit, they threw in a 15 watt output wireless charger. So as you can see, I have my phone up on there right now and it's getting a charge. So as you can see, the wireless charger on the top, charging my phone, pulling nine watts right now. And they conveniently have these screens right here with your battery life, your input, if you have solar or AC, charging the unit, and then your output. So if you're looking for an awesome workstation, you know, you could be out here in the wilderness. If you have Starlink, you'll have internet, of course. And you can be charging your device like your MacBook you can see right here we have uh, the output put in uh, 53, 54 watts right now in that range bouncing around. Uh, so you can get some editing done if you're like us and you film YouTube videos or if you work from the road, you'll be able to uh, make sure that all your devices are topped off and you don't have to be in your uh, rig. You could be sitting out, you know, like us about, I don't know, 50 feet away from your rig with your Blue Eddy portable power station. So with your Blue Eddy power station, of course you're going to get your wall charger. You're going to get your cigarette lighter so you can charge it in your vehicle while you're driving and your solar connection so you can plug into a portable uh, solar panel which Blue Eddy also sells those and you can charge from that when you're in the woods if you don't want to uh, drive anywhere or if you're going to be stationary for a few days and keep this thing topped off. So something that's also really cool about this power station is it actually has a light on the back and it also has different options for it. So you turn it on. <laughs> so you have your regular dimmer light that turns on. Then you have a brighter light. And then you actually have a strobe light that turns on, which I think is pretty neat. Maybe you're having a campfire with your friends and you want to do something a little different. I think it's more for an emergency situation well, <laughs> to get somebody's attention. I guess I was thinking about the happy <laughs> reasons to use it. And then it turns back off. So we're doing a little real world testing. We have both our phones charging, laptop and MacBook is charging, and now we're gonna get this Vornado little awesome fan uh, going. Let's get the screen back up here. Uh, we got a lot more power to go, so. <laughs> so that is, uh, what, four devices hooked up, including a fan on high setting still pulling 69 watts so we have all, a lot more open wattage uh, we're trying to think of things we use on the daily and really there's not much that we use that pull a ton of power our uh, kettle our water kettle does but it actually pulls way too much Brendy bought the most inefficient water kettle ever <laughs> uh, so pulling like over a thousand watts on that thing which is ridiculous because there's ones out there that pull like 300 but uh, pretty impressive to have this many things charging, even though I know the phones are small devices, but uh, to have a fan hooked up, a MacBook, and still only be pulling you know, 70 watts, and this thing can handle that like it's not even a, a drop in the bucket. So off this unit, we could actually run Starlink. We do have a portable fridge in our outdoor kitchen. We could run that easily off this if we needed to in a, a situation where we really wanted to conserve the uh, power of our onboard lithium batteries. So the options are really endless. So a lot of people starting out in this lifestyle, that is one of their biggest concerns is power. And a little portable power station like the EB55 could easily suit all your needs, uh, power up a portable uh, 12 volt you know, fridge freezer, Starlink if you needed it, charge your phone, your MacBook, or laptop. I mean, it really can get the job done and you can keep it constantly charged from 
you know, your car's cigarette lighter input, uh, portable solar panels, things like that. So you don't need to spend a bunch of money on like this huge lithium battery set up with solar on your roof and that whole, you know, thing, which includes just a lot of other components, wiring, and get pretty pricey. You could just start off with a small portable power station and you could move your way up to one of the bigger units. Like I said earlier, uh, we've looked at Blue Eddy's option with the expandable batteries. It's one of their bigger, more expensive units. But we've looked at that for an off-grid property eventually just because it's so convenient and you don't have to worry about the grid if the power goes out, uh, you know, major storms, things like that, depending on where you are, you know, tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards. So it just uh, makes your lifestyle a little bit more free, a little bit more versatile. So we want to thank Blue Eddy for sending out the EB55 to us. We're about to go on a month long journey north and then east. We're going to be going to the Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, Mount Rushmore, everywhere in between. And then our end destination is Vermont uh, to visit some family and also for the cats to get babysat by their grandparents <laughs> because we will be headed to Hawaii and sharing that with you guys. So whether you're a weekend warrior camper, part-timer, full-timer, we hope that this video helps you figure out what you need for power and this gives you a solution. They have a full array of products ranging in all kinds of sizes so you can check them out. We're gonna have a link in the description along with a discount code that you guys can use to save a few bucks. We wish you guys all a safe journey on the road, a good rest of your summer, and continue watching because we're about to hit the road and go on that journey. So you're gonna see some epic views, some amazing drone shots, awesome national parks, a really cool RV resort that our friend owns next to Mount Rushmore that we think you guys are gonna like if you are a person that occasionally likes to enjoy the luxuries of life when you're on the road. Thank you guys so much again for watching our video. Please remember to give us a big thumbs up. It really helps us with that YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment below if you have any questions regarding Blue Eddy's EB55 and or if you guys actually use a portable power station. Let us know below. And as always, we hope you will consider subscribing to our channel. We do so much traveling around the United States and we also do the occasional tech videos like this one right now. We will see you guys in our next video. See you guys next time. About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't to see